like the pitch and like how I built this. Oh, okay. Sun is coming up, are you ready to go? We can take a ride, we can take it slow, yo. Well, welcome back to The Road to Self-Love. It's your boy, Paul Fishman, self-love coach and you do you activist. Here today with Amber Berger, co-founder of Salt House New York, the modern salt room. So welcome to the show. I'm so honored that you allowed us to podcast here. This is such a great space. And so tell me a little bit about the origin story behind like the salt house. So actually I discovered halotherapy in Florida. My husband had one of those winter coughs that wouldn't go away. It was wrecking our marriage at nighttime because I wasn't sleeping for months on end. And friends of mine had told me to check this out and that it could help and also that it would be interested in it. So I went and after one session his cough cleared. My husband's not into wellness. I personally have always lived a holistic lifestyle for 25 plus years. And after that, um, you know, it was sort of in the time when people kept talking about the suicide rates were really high and people were feeling more lonely than ever. And I came up with the idea that I wanted to create a social wellness concept because through salt therapy, you can engage in wellness together. And the treatment is 100% natural, so it's something that you can do with kids or with adults. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of how Salt House was born. I, I have two children myself. I have an eight-year-old and a five-year-old, and I love that it, I could introduce wellness to them in a real approachable, playful manner. And so our design aesthetic was modernizing the experience of salt therapy and creating the social wellness concept to empower people to take charge of their health, to feel their best through the power of salt, and that you don't have to do it alone. You can do it with loved ones, with friends, and even work colleagues. It's a great place to come and host a meeting, mm -hmm. um, entertain clients. And what's nice is we're taking the spa experience outside the spa and you don't have to change your clothes, you come dressed as you are. The floor is all Himalayan salt, so it's really nice and grounding on your feet. The stress, I say, comes out through your feet. So it healed your husband in one time, yes. and now is he into wellness, or is he still like a, eh? He's not a skeptic, but he is a little more traditional by nature, mm -hmm. but I think we've been together a long time, I'm rubbing off on him. Just before I got here, he's like, I need some craniosacral therapy, and I need some acupuncture. Sure. Can you please make me an appointment? And I just and made my day. Yeah, like, wow. I, I love that so much. It's really cool that there's this kind of space in the city, for sure. Yes, we say we're an urban oasis and that, uh, you know, a lot of people, at least in New York City, always are talking about, like, their next vacation. They need to get away. They're burnt out. They're so stressed. And what's nice about this space is you don't have to get on an airplane or spend extra money going away. You just have to come for a session and in 45 minutes you literally can be transported to your last happy place. Mm -hmm. And when you leave here they say one session is equivalent to being at the beach for three days. So you feel relaxed, invigorated, calm. I wish we can show a video of before and after pictures of people who walk in because in Eastern medicine they say the salt softens you. And we really see visually the evidence of that. You know, we are all city rats and we're racing on the streets, fighting for our space on the sidewalk, you know, in the subway. And so we come in with our body armor on. And by the time people leave, it's for those who can't relax that do best here because they show themselves like, oh my God, I haven't released like that in a long time. So if someone's listening and they don't live in New York, like what's, what's something at home that they can do to get the benefits of salt. Creating a morning ritual for yourself, I think, is like a first step. Uh, we're so used to just running and grabbing our coffee at a coffee shop or going to a, you know, a tea place. That just making something for yourself in the morning when you wake up, I think, is so transformative. And it really sets the intention for the day of taking care of you first. So have there, has there ever been a time in your life where like you've kind of fallen off the wagon of self-care? Absolutely. I think that's how I ended up coming up with the salt house idea it was after i had my second child i totally was really depleted just both physically um, minerally deficient and i realized i kind of stopped doing my self-care practices i always was getting acupuncture every two weeks that was sort of my thing that i used to help me regulate my cycles and get pregnant and i just kind of stopped doing everything I think I was just so busy being a mom and I kind of had a wake up call when she was, maybe she was almost two, where I was like, I don't feel great and I need to change it up and I kind of had to 
go back into my toolkit and kind of put myself back together to feel strong again. When I discovered salt therapy, I loved to kind of open the door of, wow, you can actually enjoy something that's taking care of your body and choose to be alone if you want to, but you also can choose to be with your family and friends. You know, our values are about simplicity, inclusivity, community, and really just bringing it back to the simpleness of life. You know, you can hang out at the beach for hours on end. So it's kind of giving you that space in here to be able to do that where you really lose track of time and the time just goes and you're breathing in the salt air and naturally detoxifying your body even just from environmental toxins. Did you always dream of having your own business? It's so funny. I actually just saw my old boss over the weekend. He said, Amber, you're so ambitious. And I was told when I was younger, you're very tenacious. I didn't really know what that meant. Mm -hmm. I love, I think, creating things, and this was something I saw a hole in the market and saw a real opportunity. When I get behind it, like I'm all in, 100%. As I'm sure you can feel that. Um, I don't do it at like half, half ass, I guess. Well, we always play road trip games, okay. even though we're not going anywhere. I'd love to play the association game with you. Okay. So uh, the way that this goes is, I'm gonna say a word. And then you're going to say the first word that pops into your head that my you associate my word with. And then I'm going to say the first word that pops in my head that I associate your word with. And we're just going back and forth and back and forth. So um, I'm just going to start with beach. House. Shelter. Safety. Warmth. Sun. Light. Happy. Dancing. Fun. Laughter. Joy. Was that circle? Did you say joy before? No, but okay. I thought it. <laughs> Look at his song tune. Singing. Mm, rock star. Elvis. My dad. <laughs> Family. The best. That feels like a good place to end it. It's a happy place. To end. Ah, that was that was the happiest associating game I've ever played. Really? I was just like, Sunshine yeah, and rainbows. Sunshine I said, I'm, rainbows. I'm such a sunshine and rainbows. I'm like exclamation oh marks and like too many emojis. I see this trend, and you can probably uh, uh, appreciate this that kind of going back to basics. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, I'm finding it very important, very, very important. I think less is more in, with regards to so much in life. Mm -hmm. Like true happiness is like really within, without all the noise. Yeah. I mean, we're so blessed. We have so much access to so much. Right. Well, and the, the interesting thing is that, like, when it comes to just life in general and, and looking at my life and not wanting to slow down, but also, like, feeling that, like, I have to slow down because I won't be able to keep it up. Just like, just like you said, mm -hmm. it's healthy until it isn't. Right? So where do you draw that line? Yeah. I think that's where, like, if you incorporate those little moments of self-care every day, it kind of just keeps you moving along so you don't mm -hmm. feel that burnout because you're still nourishing your body and your soul and your mind in whatever way that is. Even if it's just, like, reading a real book or magazine. Mm -hmm. It's really just kind of, like, shutting off, like, the TV a little bit and the phones and, like, all that digital stuff. I think that really just fries our brain. Well, I just have a couple more questions yes. for you. I ask every one of my guests, what does self-love mean to you? Being comfortable in your own skin mm -hmm. and just loving what you're blessed with. Mm -hmm. like, you know, within you, we're, I find that I think that we're a vessel and um, appreciating and accepting your body for what it is and what it could do. Mm -hmm. That's so beautiful. <laughs> Love that so much. And um, where can people find you? Uh, well, they can follow us at Salt House NY. And my own Instagram is A Star Burger. Mm, a Star Burger. A Star. You, uh, Star is my middle name. And you're launching e commerce yes, in we'll 2020. Yes, we'll be launching e commerce in 2020, so you definitely will be able to get a way to bring Salt House home. Amazing. Well, Amber, thank you so much for joining thank me you. on the road. It has been such a blast.